What's up everybody? Welcome back to an all new episode of Conflict. Today we'll be looking at its prize package regarding Final Vendetta, a game created by Numskull Gaming, in which today we'll be seeing exactly what they sent us. Now this here is more of an action adventure game that you can go ahead and beat them up, uh, very similar to some of the retro games that we've seen growing up as a child. So together we'll be unboxing it as well as seeing exactly what's included and going ahead and even trying it out and seeing exactly what the hype is about. Now, if you guys want to learn more about them, check out the link down below in the description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get our fight on. Alright, so this here's our box. Let's open it up. Alright. We get a thank you card uh, from Numskull Gaming. Looks pretty cool. It even shows like a little bit of a graphic imaging from the game. And then inside here we have our Nintendo Switch box. Look at that! So on the back it says time to take out the trash. Final Vendetta is a hard-hitting action-packed beat-em-up for one or two player in a vain classic arcade title. Uh, and then we have, looks like a poster here. Whoa, cool! Definitely gonna hang this on my wall. <laughs> and then it looks like they gave us a coaster. So it says share the street food. So obviously, you know, there's food in the game which you can go ahead and raise your health, but it's also technically regarding, you know, sharing your food actually using a coaster. So that is kind of cool too. And then lastly, we have a little sticker here. So one of the characters from the game. So definitely cool with the 8-bit kind of stuff right there. So we'll go ahead and set that to the side. And let's go ahead and take a look at this packaging. All right, so this is pretty cool. So we have our poster right over here. So we have another Final Vendetta poster. And then we have ourselves a booklet. So this here is kind of neat, kind of gives you a lot of clip art of the game. Uh, the different stages and just like screenshots of it battling out. This is actually pretty neat. Even some images of the characters kind of fighting about. Uh, this is really neat. This is definitely a collectible piece, I would have to say. All right, and then inside here we have our Nintendo Switch game. Oh, cool. So this should be kind of exciting to see. Can't wait to play this. Uh, we have our barrel USB. <laughs> Turn this or twist it off, I guess. And inside there is our USB. <laughs> That's pretty wicked. All right, we have our card deck here. Uh, all the different characters from the game are in here and there's a card deck. So it kind of shows their power, their speed, their aggression, and their skill, and then their energy. Uh, and then we have an exclusive sticker. This is food to go ahead and bring your health as you're playing. Uh, we got a little card here, super limited edition. Uh, order now. And then we have our soundtrack. So this is kind of neat. So we have our CD or disc. Look at this. Definitely cool. So yeah, that is that in a nutshell. So this is really cool stuff. I'm excited to go ahead and try this out. Let's go ahead and boot it up next and see what it is all about. All right, so we got Final Vendetta ready to go. Uh, we got one player, two players. So you can go ahead and do a co-op with it, which is pretty cool. Uh, you have your option mode, allowing to go ahead and do the difficulty and a variety of other things to high scores. So let's go ahead and one player and arcade mode. All right, so now we can have a pick a few different characters from here. So we'll go ahead and pick this guy right here and try him out. Oh wow, look at the art on this thing. All right, oh, we got a bad guy. Hey, what's up, buddy? Oh, 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 we'll take that. There we go. All right, so kind of caught by surprise. Oh, cool, you can break boxes. All right, buddy, let's see what you got here. Nice. <laughs> yeah. So far, not bad. It's actually pretty fun. Uh, one thing about these spider games is it becomes really repetitive. Uh, I really do like the artwork in this game, and there's a lot to look at, and the characters all seem kind of different from the bad guys go. So it's kind of nice that they do have a variation of it, especially a game like this. Ooh, pizza! So they did do a great twist in terms of creating something a little bit different. Oh, look at that! Punches! Fire punches? Sweet! How did I do that? Let's try that again. So you can actually break things too. Look at this. Let's see if we can throw this crap. Oh, okay, okay. You can, you can break anything in here. Oh, I got a big guy. Oh no, he just charged at me. I can charge too. Oh, he beat me to it then. 
That's good, hard. Uh oh. Ah, oh, not again. How do you keep tossing him? So they actually have weapons in here too, that's cool. Inside the building we go. Oh, boss. <laughs> that guy's big. Fire Fury. Why does he have like a bunch of like henchmen? You can't take me on yourself, buddy? Take that. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Rank E? Really? Well, I did better than that. So yeah, kind of gives you an idea what that's about. Overall, actually a lot of fun, uh, a lot of nostalgic value with these kind of fighting games. And look at the scenery of Like right now we're on a train and the bad guys are different and there's actually a lot of coolness to it. Now, I can imagine two players co-op going up with your friends. Seems like it would be a lot of fun. And I have to say, hands down, definitely a lot of cool nostalgic value. Now with that said, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, I'll keep on playing. <laughs> See you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah, she's fast. Nice. Man, I love the soundtrack of this thing. Oh, <laughs> my